Baby, tell me how did you get so Alright guys, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do the glitch effect I promised a couple weeks back. So, what you're first gonna wanna do, obviously, make your frame rate, fr frame rate 60. <laughs> Can't believe I'm already messing up. So, if it's on 24, it'll just look really choppy and really bad. So, make sure it's on 60 to get the most smooth uh, uh, playback. And, uh, you're gonna wanna choose your song next. And I'm doing Cold by the Maroon 5. It's kind of old, but you know. It's okay, it's a good montage song. Uh, I'm gonna drag, just drag it in. Make sure to stretch this out so you can see like the actual song. Uh, so when you're playing it, cold enough make sure to, to find like the beat drop. How did you get so? All right, right there is the beat drop. So I'm gonna place a marker on it with Control M. Then you're gonna just just trim it down. Like I'm just gonna trim it down right now, but you guys can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna do one. Clip. So I'm gonna trim it just a bit more. When we're kid and I'm just gonna trim it after, like like so, just so we can have a nice little like small like music clip. Then just drag your clip. Uh, I have a bunch of like practice clips downloaded, so I'm just gonna find one. Let's just do 203 shit on. Oh, uh, yeah, this looks good. So, drag this down right here. Make a nice little drag down here. Make sure to push this back all the way, that's really important. So, on the marker, make sure this renders in. Uh. You're gonna wanna find the part where you where the numbers first show up. So right there. Right, let me see. Where is it? Okay, there the numbers first show up, as you can see. Right there. Right there, you can see the numbers showing up for the first time. So yeah, make sure you have the numbers showing up for the first time. That is really important. It's like it's like the best thinking. Literally everyone uses it. Just make sure to cut the song down to like the part where the clip is. Just get all of them, go like that. And as you can see, now, Baby, tell like me how music, did you like, get so cold? There we go. And uh, also for people who have like a low end PC or just don't want any lag at all, make sure to go to your playback and uh, use timeline proxy mode, quarter resolution. So it just becomes really smooth. Like, how did you like, get way so lag. cold? Okay, it's, just, it's the best in my opinion. I use it. So now you're gonna want to unlink the clips. Now it's velocity. So at a speed point where you get the kill, go 10 frames back. This is just super simple beginner velo velocity. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. At another speed point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As you can see now, we have three speed points. The first one you're gonna wanna do 50 on speed. The second one you're gonna wanna do 200. Some people use 400, but I just, I just like 200. And then the last one you're gonna wanna do 50. And then just trim it down a lot. Like, no one likes to see that much. Oh, no. So yeah, let's just trim it down to like, right here. As you can see, it, it looks really we'll nice now. So the velocity is really clean, but now that we have ran into a problem, and that is that the marker is on the wrong part of the clip, so just drag it to the speed point, and yeah, this could be a problem, because, uh, oh no, there we go, that's good. And also, make sure to drag the, like, the audio a bit right there. Yeah, just there. Uh, so, because when you unlink it, this will just get longer, and this will stay the same, the audio will stay the same length so just drag it a bit so it still sounds really good and yeah now just drag uh, cut this down drag this and make sure the clip audio not the actual or the clip not the audio the clip is uh synced to the music so now you can go oh this is a bit too long there we go now we have the perfect velocity for Baby, tell me how did you get so cold So now we're, is where we're actually going to get into the glitch effect. So, 
uh, you're gonna want to get like the trimming tool and every three frames or trim it every three frames for the audio so trim it first where the or where the marker is go three frames back trim it and just I'm just gonna fast forward here and like you guys can do it like how many times you want uh, I think I usually do like eight trims so yeah just make sure to try to copy me or you can do, do like the way you do it but I recommend seven to eight Alright guys, now we have all the pieces trimmed and I was wrong, I actually did way more than 8, I did Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I did like 10 trims Uh, just to make sure to cut this out Cut this out, and yeah, just follow this, I'll fast forward here And yeah, now we have like the audio glitch, it looks really cool right now though So like it just stutters a lot that's what we want to see so and now we're gonna trim the part where the like the audio trim starts so like right here get like the playback head drag it to like where the beat is and then drag it right here and here is probably the most important part go into the color tab uh, Go into this, click monochrome, so it just everything is uh, it, like the saturation is down. It's gonna take a bit to render. Just go back. I'll just fast forward here right now since I'm recording my PC's acting all buggy, so just give it a bit. Alright, now it is done rendering. It took like a couple seconds. Uh, click Alt L on your keyboard. Go into the circle. Click the circle. And now you will see that it's making like a nice little outline of the character. I usually do it just like right there, so it just outlines a bit the arm and drag it down. So it's like, let's say, um, I'll make sure this softness is up. Like the the bit best softness you can do is the best, or like the most softness. The more softness equals better. So yeah, make sure it's. Just like outlining the body, the pump sh the pump doesn't have to be uh, uh, outlined, but it's better if you just do the body. Now you're gonna want to go into the this wheel right here. Just do any custom color you want. It really doesn't matter. Make sure to go on the gain. Any custom color. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do red. And yeah, make sure to turn this down a bit. Make sure this is a bit smaller. Softness. Mm. That's like that. Make sure that this is pretty tall, like it's just as tall as the character in like her booty. Uh, yeah, that's pretty legit. I'm actually I'm just gonna go since it's cold. I'm just gonna do like an ice color. I'm just gonna go with that. And yeah, now we have like the character outline. It's pretty good. Let's just go back and like make it like a bit less tall, like right there, and like a bit more to the left. So you can see now it's a de it's decent. It's not the best. If you guys really want to have it perfect, just uh, keyframe color corrector two, and like every frame, you need a keyframe. It's, for some reason, like the color corrector doesn't like to keyframe well. Go to like where the character moves. And just drag it to where she moves. And then, and then right there. And then, for some reason, they want to start like where it was starting actually, so just make sure to drag it back. Go like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now the circle actually moves along with the character, and that looks way better. And now, this I think, like one of the final parts. Make sure to just cut the. Make sure to just cut the the clip with how the audio is cut. So just like that, like that, and then yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward here. All right, guys, now we have everything cut, and yeah, just make sure to like take away all the parts that I took away from the music. So like that, and then like that. 
Oh, also, you need. Know, yeah, my bad for being such an idiot. You have to do the same with the audio. Since I don't like to think of, like, with the. With the video. So, yeah, just make sure to cut it like that. Like that. Yeah, that was pretty quick. If you want, I'd say that you should actually take away all the audio in general and then add a shotgun sound effect. Because, like, the audio could mess everything Did up. You get so, so now we have this glitch effect, and I'm just gonna look for a shotgun S effects. I'm gonna put it, uh, actually, should I put it in the, yeah, I'll put it in the description if you guys want. Uh, shotgun S effect. Uh, yeah, just find that. And yeah, drag in that. And yeah, just wait. I'm just gonna trim it to where the shotgun actually is. Yeah, there. Yeah, just make sure the volume is down to like seven. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and yeah, I'll see you next time.